mean, I can't really figure out where we're gonna go, but I don't know if you have some ideas. I guess. You got some ideas? Let me know, man. Yeah, so maybe on the next project. Next project, yeah. We could do that, yeah. I think they're gonna grill over here. I think they're trying to grill. Oh, I thought she was waving at Yeah, I thought it was to go. Maybe this that one looks, that one looks wicked. Yeah, this tree looks like something is going to crawl in our yeah. bar, man. <laughs> <laughs> this one is okay. This one also. Unless something comes out under there, I have no idea. Yeah. It looks solid, man. Yeah, I but look. Oh, what about that one over there? The smaller one over there. I mean that too. Even, yeah, because oh. this one, it looks like there's a raccoon under it. <laughs> oh, shit. Think so. <laughs> <laughs> you see the, the ground shake? Yes, if that is in your nuts, yes. forget it. You have no nuts after all. <laughs> Just assume that you have no nuts. <laughs> this is the this is the closest I've been to a horse. <laughs> Magnificent, uh, strong. <laughs> hey, this is Samuel from St. Hart. Uh, today I'm here with my good friend Gene Neves on the guitar, strong and away, you know, enjoying these wonderful tunes. You know, um, he does music. Um, you can check out his page on Facebook. I'll have the links below this video. So I have Egyptian amber perfume oil type here. This is the bottle. Uh, you can see from the bottle um, a golden color. Um, amber actually was referred in the past, uh, was called um, Nabi Gold, you know, because um, it, it looked like gold. You know, they also called it um, the Eye of the Tiger. And um, it was used in the past for bracelets, you know, bracelets and ornaments. It's a very um, expensive uh, thing, you know. Now, you know, this one here looks like amber, so this is uh, exactly how amber usually looks like. And, um, but this one is also very fluid, you know, it flows. It's not as thick as um, the Egyptian marks that I did before, and also the, um, the Arabian sandalwood that I reviewed before. This is a very um, fluid perfume oil type. So Egyptian amber, you know, I was very excited about this one. It's been a while since I did any kind of natural perfume. Um, oil uh, review. So this is like one of my um, next after you know doing so many um, you know designer types perfumes. You know, um, I did the Egyptian mask a while ago. That that video is like my all-time um, most viewed um, review on YouTube. You know, it has more than more than a thousand views as I, as I speak right now. It's very very famous. Um, and then one, my other, my next famous one, ironically, is um, white amber or amber white. And um, that's my next most viewed um, video on YouTube. And then um, now I have the Egyptian amber, you know. So this, when I got it, I was like, I was really wondering how is it gonna smell like, you know. I was trying to decide. Well, I was, I was wondering if it's gonna smell like a mix between amber and uh, musk. You know, and I have several um, natural perfume oil types. I actually brought all of them. <laughs> all the natural perfume oil types that I have reviewed. Um, I have Egyptian masks here. 
Uh, you can see Egyptian Max is very thick. Perfume, oil, you know. It smells very nice. I have Amber White, which is like the next big one after Egyptian Mask. And um, I have Arabian Sandalwood, which also smells somewhat similar to uh, the Egyptian Mask, but it's, uh, it has, it's a little bit different. And then finally, I have the Dark Amber. This is my one of my favorites, you know, um, out of all the, the, um, the natural perfumes that I, I showed you. And basically, these are like the natural perfume oils that I have available. I have small each, each individual one of them. And I did that before doing this review because I wanted to see if it's, um, if I'll find characteristics of those inside the Egyptian, the Egyptian amber that I have over here. Um, so when I smelled it, um, the first thing I got was a very sweet smell. You know, it smelled very sweet. Uh, and then soon afterwards, it began to smell um, like pain. You know, but what in this smell, it, it began to smell, it began to smell like acrylic art paint, you know, which is very surprising because I just kept smelling it and I was trying to find out like what is this smell, you know, and it smelled exactly like acrylic art paint, you know, the paint that you mix it with water to paint, to do your art. And immediately I could recognize that smell because um, like I do art. Oh, I'm not heavily into art, but now I do a lot of sketches, you know, but when I was growing up, I think when I was like 10 or 12 years old, um, I was doing sketches in class, you know, and I tend to do art, you know, and my uncle and my father would basically buy me like art materials and this was when I was in Ghana because the funny thing is we we'll, would we'll get like kerosene and um, we would soak like uh, kerosene on the we we'll soak paper in kerosene and then we'll find like um, a drawing or a cartoon this was when I was a kid and then we'll put it on the on the art and basically we'll trace it out you know so I did it so many times it's like most of the people in my class were doing it and then um, eventually, you know, I started like a sketch. You know, I look at something, I'll sketch, and then over time, I'll do like little sketches of portraits and different art and stuff like that. I never really got into painting, or was you know good at it. It's only like one or two that I did. It wasn't the best, but my art, <laughs> it's about my art book, you know. But I, I said I haven't really done any much art. Um, in future, you could check out my art stuff that I do, uh, my art and my, my drawings and my stuff. Um, I have a website and I'll be making, um, you know, recording my journey as well. If you're into that kind of stuff, you can definitely check me out. I have the link below. Uh, but this is the kind of the art that I had before. And um, like I said, I haven't done any painting at all. This is some, some painting I do. This is like something that like a three-year-old would do. <laughs> I'm not very proud of this. But <laughs> look at this. What is this even? <laughs> but you can see, I did this in 2015. You know, so I need to get into my painting game. I need to get on point. But when it comes to sketching, this is where I thrive. <laughs> you know, so this is the this is one of my favorite sketch. You know, it's called Miracle. You can see the little baby. But there is a hand. There is a man's hand holding the baby. And it shows how at some point in our life we are so tiny, we could fit into a man's hand. But we grow up and then eventually we are like a whole person. You know, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's a bunch of different stuff that I do, different projects, you know. This is Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> this project took like a month, but it's crazy. This project took like a month and I had to do like different sections and piece them together. You know, and you and before I didn't know what the hour was gonna be. But after you did the different section and you piece them together, it's like then you could know what kind of what, what it was, you know, and this was what it was. But I remember exactly how the um the acrylic um the acrylic paint smelled like. The acrylic paint smell like and this is exactly what I was getting. Um it didn't change much at, at all, you know, it was very linear, you know, but then to me this was um, 
I liked it because it connected me to art. You know, anytime I put this on, I just feel like art. Oh, you know, I just feel like I need to do some creative thing. You know, I need to get out there and do art. And it's also interesting because um, when I get into the notes, you realize that this has a lot of, um, it has mask, it has sandalwood, it has petroli. So it has a lot of mask notes in this, um, which is very not very common to a lot of the natural perfume oil types that we have. But also, one thing to this perfume oil type is that it has um, it has a lot of citrus notes. You know, it has um, lime, it has orange, it has lemon. So I was trying to like see if I could pick them out, you know, but I still couldn't pick them out. You know, they. It was as if the lime, the citrus notes were competing with the musky notes to form something, you know. And to me, that smell that I got, that feeling, that smell that I was getting was more of the acrylic paint smell and the sweetness, you know. Uh, somehow, some way, none of them was able to stand out, you know. But but if you don't know the notes of this perfume and you smell it, you will not pick up any. Unless you have a very strong, like, a keen, keen nose, you might get, like, maybe a trace of some citrus notes in there and some, um, some mask, more of, like, Egyptian musky kind of notes in there. But um, if you just smell it out of, the, out, out of the blue, you wouldn't get, you wouldn't distinctly pick out, like, citrus or any musky notes, you know. So that's what I got. You know, it's very unique. It's, I don't have anything like this in my, that smells like the natural perfume oil oils that I have, the one that I've showed, or have owned, you know, it's very, very unique. It's, it's lighter than um, the perfume oil, the natural perfume oils that I have, you know, so I guess the projection um, will be great, you know. Um, it is, it is, um, the projection was decent, you know, like, I would say it's good, a uh, good two, three feet away from you. Um, but it does last a long, long time, because I remember I put it on, the day I was reviewing it, I put it on in the night, and then when I woke up the following morning, I could still smell it on me. You know, it wasn't super strong or like blowing my head out, but I could definitely smell it out. So it does last long, you know, um, it's very good on longevity. Um, I would say this is unisex, um, but you first have to try it out. And also, if you're gonna try it out, I would say first um, go small and then see how it smells like and then decide how much you're gonna put on you know but it's a very it's a very unique um perfume you know um it's very unique it's not contemporary it's very very unique this is something that i feel like something that i could wear once a while it wouldn't become like a stable perfume um oil you know something that i'll wear once a while you know um it's kind of like you have a let's say you have some food that you eat you know like <laughs> This is gonna be a, might be a bad example, but you have some food that you really like to eat, but you don't eat that food every day, you know, you eat it like maybe once or twice a week, but when you eat it, you enjoy it, you know, maybe something like steak, you know, if you can, you don't eat steak that much, you know, so this is, this is, this is, a, this is the place where this will fit inside my um, perfume oils, you know. So for the notes, top notes, you have lemon, you have clove, you have jasmine, you have lavender, and you have orange. And then in the mid notes, you have grapefruit and pineapple. Um, the bottom notes, you have fair, balsam, you have patchouli, you have musk, you have sandalwood. You know, so you can see how the citrus notes are from the top to middle, and then the bottom notes, it's, um, you know, packed with this musky, heavy, masculine, deep um, notes. You know, so definitely check this out you know definitely check this out um you could grab this bottle here from my website you could go to senthack.com and order this bottle five dollars 99 cents includes shipping and everything and i'll personally ship it to you let me know what you got from this perfume oil type you know wonderful perfume oil type leave a comment below or you could also go to my website um send her, leave a comment in the comment sessions and um, let me know what you got from it. You know, did you pick up any of the pineapple, citrus, lemon, or any other notes from it? Or what did it feel like to you, like the overall theme? What did it truly feel like to you? So let me know. Uh, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe. The subscription button is right here on this side. 
um, that's the only way you get my new videos when they come out every week and uh, you get updated uh, if you also go on my website I have um, I do make blog posts on my website and you could read about the reviews that I do and if you do um, want to get updated too there's a news letter you could get subscribed to the newsletter and you get my new blog posts when they come out I get updated with different things like that I'm on social media I'm on Twitter I'm on Instagram and um, the other social media networks as well <laughs> take care um, you know for my my brother you know my friend you could check out his stuff on Facebook I leave the links below um, he plays very he makes very good music and he's awesome you, know, you could definitely check him out uh, take care and until next time